Okay, everybody. I own a 2004 Chevy Cavalier. And what this video is going to be for is removing the dash to get to the radio. I know a lot of people ask, how'd you put the uh, aftermarket radio in? Yeah, it is a pain in the butt. But once you do it, it's pretty easy. I'm going to show you the spots where there are screws and spots where there are bolts. First, starting off by the fuse panel on the left side of the car. You need to take this off, this whole panel. To do that, I usually just pop a screwdriver in here. Try popping it off. See? Comes right off. This comes out. Now, there's one torque screw right there that needs to come out. I'm going to pause it for a second. Actually, never mind. I'll just keep it going. Go to the other side of the car. On this side, there's another one. This has to come out. One second. Once that comes out, another torque screw right there. That needs to come out. Also, in the glove box, it's going to be kind of hard to see, but torque screw, torque screw, and another torque screw right there. Those three have to come out. One, two, three. Also, down here, in the glove box, see this? Left side, there's two bolts. Those need to come out. Okay? Do not drop them. you lose them forever. And the last part, just to get this tan part out, the dash, up here, remove this. There's a screw right there. That needs to come out. And then once you get that screw out, this whole vent cover pops up. Use a screwdriver to help them like clips. And on the side here, be another torque screw. And the other side, another torque screw. Those need to come out. Okay? So I'm gonna do that while we wait. One second. Okay, I'm back now. Um, it's been about 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so. I took off this one, this torque. Also, took off the vent. That screw was right there. You know, I was saying before, those two uh, torque screws. One was right there, one was right there. This is what it looks like. Screw. That's it. Can't really see it. There you go. And the bigger one, the bigger torque one, was on the right side, this side. And the smaller one was on the left side. And then over here, I decided to take off the door to the glove box. It's down there. Because uh, when I was trying to get at those bolts in there, was being a pain so I didn't want to do that and I took off the torque one two three and also on this side here uh, I took off the torque over there now basically what you do is uh, I start over here start lifting it up once you get this up I slide my finger over to here. Can't really see. It's kind of hard to do without holding this, but let's see if I can do this. So, this, you hear that pop? That's good. In there, a little uh, 
tab that goes in there. There's one more right there. You hear the popping sound before it. Let me set this down. You hear it though. There you go. Just heard it. Pop this off there. Also, another tab is under here. Basically, just popping everything off. Now, you have to be very careful when you're taking this off because once you take it off, the airbag will be exposed. Do not touch it. Do not put anything on it. So, this come up. This, just lift the whole thing up. And put this down. Let's see if I can get this down so you can see. 